Hi there, Glocal citizens. Welcome back to the podcast that inspires a borderless mindset around manifesting a new world. I am your host, Florence Adu, coming to you with part two of my conversation with studio portraitist, photojournalist, and Black lifestyle photographer, James Barnard. If you missed part one, I urge you to go back and check that out. And I would like to just kind of give you a little bit of a truncated bio before we get into his work. He has had showings in Ghana, South Africa, France, the Netherlands, the UK, and the US. His career spanned six decades and he was rediscovered in 2007 during the Ghana at 50 Jubilee season by curator Nana Aforiata Ayem, who organized the first exhibition of his photographs at Black Cultural Archives. In his street and studio photography, he represents societies in transition in the 1950s and 60s, particularly Ghana moving towards independence and London becoming a multicultural metropolis. He is Ghana's first full-time newspaper photographer in the 1950s, and he is credited with introducing color processing to Ghana in the 1970s. It has been said that he is to Ghana and photojournalism what Usman Sembene was to Senegal and African cinema. We're picking up the conversation with Uncle Jim, discussing more about how he came to be living and working in London the first time around. So you were living, working in Ghana, yes. and you've mentioned coming to the UK and going back. So what brought you... To UK? Yes, yes. How did you come to be living, working, and playing <laughs> as now, much as you can here? But that's another story altogether. Mm -hmm. You meet people from overseas who bring nice stories, so you want to go there. Mm -hmm. Or you are a colonial man, you are not independent. You always want to go to the place mm -hmm. and see how the place look like. Mm -hmm. You know, and in photography, which is, you know, that's where you can get the best. Sure. So you want to go. Mm -hmm. well, that, that's another thing. But I, during the independence, the world press yes, the came world press. to Ghana. Mm -hmm. And you see how they work, you know, mm -hmm. the newspaper men. And you want to be aspiring to be one of the best in Ghana and then and you can compare that uh, I don't know anything at all, you know. So you want to go. That. That's yeah. A year after, uh, was World University Service mm -hmm. from Canada. Okay. I don't know whether you've. Uh, they, I think they've changed it now, but there was something called World University Service all around the world. They organized and came for a seminar in Ghana. The topic was to see the effect of independence on a newly, uh, you know, mm -hmm. a, new, uh, a oh, new country, yes. Okay. What, after one year, what effect uh, has this had on Ghana? Okay. That was very interesting. Yes. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And they, they came in the summer, so they, they actually settled at Legon. Okay. And I happened to know and started covering. Mm -hmm. Even I moved my dark room and made my dark room and, and stayed there with me. So I had a taste of what it would be like sure. to be there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And travel with them, you know, and all the, and with the woos, yes. with the people mm -hmm. mostly from Canada. Okay. You know, from two from each and some from Ghana, because okay. Ghana, they, it was in their Thanks. country, so mm -hmm. a lot of them. Uh, I mixed with them, mm -hmm. and the Canadians, I got close to them and I said, I would like to go to Ghana, you know, through what I saw mm -hmm. and what I learned. In fact, if I'd gone... To Canada. Uh, it would be... A different because story. Because it would have been 59 yeah. or 6, 59 or thereabout. Mm -hmm. I'm sure I would have Stayed. been a different person, yeah. yes. But that was what... But when they went away, they'd gone away. But my school teacher... Mm. The one who taught me in my... The craft teacher. No, school oh. teacher, okay. not the craft, my class teacher, who made me the... Editor. Editor, uh -huh. yes. You know, because we were... He became my role model. He even drew my first... Not my very first. My first one was given to me by my uncle. Mm -hmm. But he drew a nice backdrop. Mm. Mm. Oh, for your photo photography? For, yes, oh, okay, in okay. color. Okay. Nice. Because 
Before I left to study, there was an opportunity to go to Achimuta for an art and craft teacher's course. Mm -hmm. You know, those who were already teachers mm -hmm. and they want to do art and craft, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and I applied. But I wasn't even a certificated teacher and so on. And in the end, you had to be nominated by educational institutions mm -hmm. so that mm -hmm. when you're trained, you come God back. Use it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And my teacher got that chance. Mm. So why, how do I compete with my... Right. That was yeah. what made me leave the school. Ah, you know, okay. if, if I want this and I have to compete with my teacher, no, I wouldn't, because right. he was already trained. Sure. And in school, you know, he was my idol. And even drawing, and so he was good. Mm -hmm. And he is going to take that course. Mm -hmm. If I don't, even if I'm there with him, I can't match him. He sure. will teach me. Sure, sure. You know, yeah. so I found, you know, that's leave it and do photography. Okay. That's how I, I went. You started <laughs> to decide. Mm -hmm. So the woods mm -hmm. I got, you know, apart from the world press that exposed photographers to me, mm -hmm. you know, in Ghana. Mm -hmm. Woods was another, and I talked about it, and my teacher knew this. So one day, he, after teaching, he made me the background. When he was teaching at Addisadel College in Cape Coast, mm -hmm. when he was the, the teacher there, mm -hmm. after the training, mm -hmm. after that mm -hmm. at training, mm -hmm. and he decided to go to study architecture in England. Oh, okay. <laughs> so then that put England in your in your. So no, <laughs> he, you know we were in the studio from Cape Coast. He came we were in the studio, my ever young studio, mm -hmm. and he mentioned it. I said, well, if you go and the place is good, you know, let me know. Mm -hmm. He went away. The first letter was London is the place for you. When my role model, my school teacher, my everything is here. And he says, you can come, you know. And he said, uh, Ghana was contemplating establishing a television. Mm. And if you can keep your mouth shut and arrange to come here, the sky will be your limit. Mm. I'm looking for that letter. Mm -hmm. I'm looking, I, oh no, I moved too much. Yeah. I've moved too much. So my letters, my things, everything is scattered mm. you know mm -hmm. but that is a letter that i would like to publish uh, except put an ink on certain part that yeah. I... <laughs> <laughs> for, for him you yes, know your own private uh, things. Yes, yes but i would like to see even the handwriting his handwriting yeah and how he you know, the letter was so good. I kept it. Yeah. I kept yeah. it. It moved you. Mm. Yeah. And it moved you to the UK. So then, yes, so right. then how did you, how did you make your way back? back? I started. Th then you don't, you, at that time, you don't need a visa. Okay. But to get a passport wasn't easy. In the end, I had to find money to pay my passage. Mm -hmm. Drum uh, advised me that you know, I should be careful about my business before I leave. Otherwise, mm. I'll regret. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I had got somebody from Graphic, mm -hmm. you know, working with me. And I wanted to leave the, the shop, you know, everything to him because he, he could do it very well. Mm -hmm. And come for a year or two years, at most three years, and go back. Mm -hmm. But... Because of that warning, I asked for 100 pounds as a security. Mm. So I'll leave the cameras and, the guy. and I'll use the money yeah. as, you know, tickets and everything. Sure. And he couldn't... Come with it. Yes. Ah. You know, so I didn't leave the shop with a view to coming back because, mm. you know, there was nothing. I, I gave uh, things out. However, I went by a boat. Mm -hmm. When I went... How long was that trip? About two weeks? Uh, yeah, getting to uh, 12 days or 12 two days. weeks, yes. Mm -hmm. By by cargo. Mm -hmm. And they collect other passengers from the British colonies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, Gambia, yeah. Sierra Leone, yeah. and another place from... From, from the Ga coast. Uh, from Gold Coast yeah. or Ghana. They collect where it stops. And then to Liverpool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
So you landed in Liverpool and made your way to London. Yes, mm -hmm. that's another side too, because <laughs> I think I did a lot of, I was lucky all along, mm -hmm. I was lucky all along, but somehow I had assurance the first try and get a Cuckoo Marketing Board scholarship. Mm -hmm. If not, when you come, I'll help you. Mm -hmm. You know, so that assurance is uh, mm -hmm. somebody who actually saw my, my studio mm -hmm. and knew what I was doing. And he was in charge of technical students for Ghana, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. at the embassy, mm -hmm. a Welshman. Mm -hmm. So if I got that, what, what do I want? And I've got my own teacher there as well. Mm -hmm. Somehow I managed to go by boat. And then when I went, you know, I reported at the embassy somehow. And uh, somebody who was going to cover the Queen's visit to Nigeria, October 1960, when independence, when Nigeria had independence, mm -hmm. he does something else. He does visual aids, but he was a top photographer. And he decided to go. So he went to borrow films to study and do his own work mm -hmm. and know how to capture. Yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they told him, oh, we've got a photographer from Ghana. Now he wants a job, you know, can you help him? Mm -hmm. So I, I, you know, I, I haven't got a job, but let him come and see me. I went and saw that person. When I paid by boat to come, before I was a year here, he paid for me to go to Nigeria mm -hmm. with him. Mm -hmm. I suggested, can we go to Ghana? He said, yes, all right. You, I leave you to do the work. I'll go and prepare for you. Oh, okay. And I went to Ghana and set up because I knew what he should photograph for his job when he comes uh -huh. back. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And he came and we spent some time in Ghana, plus our own farm, why I would want to be a farmer okay. myself. My son is there. Yeah. Now, uh -huh. you know, why, you know, and he, he said the next day or so, he said, you left all these and came to England. What for? You know, wow. you have all these. Here. Wow. And and he, he meant it. Yeah. You know, anyway, we came back, big party preparing for it. I've got pictures of the party. Yeah, yeah. People, friends who... When we came back, they prepared a party. Before I was one year, when from Ghana, it was difficult for me to come. When I come here, brother, I got the chance to ride him. Back, yeah. Not only that, we are back. And he was the one who took me to the Ra Albert Hall or something for an exhibition, mm -hmm. photographic exhibition. Mm -hmm. And I saw color. Mm. You know, Colour exhibited, yes, uh -huh. uh, exhibited by this, the, the, the color printing laboratory. Sure. So, and I, when I'm walking with him, I didn't feel black at all, you know, okay. when, yes, because uh -huh. he, he didn't feel anything, you know, he introduced me to his family. I've got photographs to prove anything, I tell you. Sure. So, we went and I left him and went to there and I said, can I come and study this? Mm -hmm. That time he had recommended for assistant or scholarship mm -hmm. for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it had been approved mm -hmm. that I understudy him. Oh, okay. okay. You see, something when they are doing, they don't do one-to-one. Do -one. Right. It's got to be an institution. Got it, yeah. You know, with examinations and everything. Mm -hmm. But this was a... <laughs> 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 so you got you see you got set up you see yeah, set. so when I said I want to study this I said where do you come from not knowing it was the director of the color processing that himself understand mm -hmm. that day. Mm -hmm. I said oh, I come from Ghana do you know Mr. CQ Thompson I said oh yeah I know him he, he, he's my friend I even photographed him before he came to England. Oh, then you can come. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, all about who you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, yeah, all right, this is, you can come and see what we do first and so on. Take a train from Victoria to Oxford and then take a bus to uh, Crockham Hill. 
Okay, everything said. Even later, when I took the train to Oxford, a car came to pick me mm, mm -hmm. to the laboratory. Took the train to Oxford, and that was one of these steam trains. Mm. You know, mm -hmm. not electric when they're steam mm -hmm. trains. <laughs> yeah, uh, different experiences. Mm. Okay. And, and uh, I went there, and more or less I started. So I was traveling from London. Mm -hmm. Till I moved to that there. area. Okay. Uh, then, then one day he said, "You must, you must go to school. You must go to school." I didn't argue. I didn't say, "Oh, you know, uh, I've done ten years of photography already from 1949 mm -hmm. to 59 mm -hmm. before I came. I can say, you know, the, the color is enough." But I did start applying. Mm -hmm. One school said, we are already in the midst of, you know, classes have started already, mm -hmm. right again. Next. And somebody from the laboratory gave me the address of Kent, mm -hmm. I mean, of uh, the Medway College of Arts. And either by mistake or intention, intentionally, I used the address of the laboratory uh -huh. uh, to make the application. So they called me for an interview straight okay. away. Okay. Uh, when I told my story and showed what I have, it took me to the principal and said, Mr. Bano hasn't got GC, but I'll take care of him. Okay. You know, straight. So, uh, so I left there and went and lived in Rochester to go to school. Uh -huh. When somebody who hasn't got GC by the time I finished, they added color processing to the curriculum. Mm -hmm. And I was mm -hmm. taken on as a technical assistant to take charge. Oh, wow. So, okay. Not minding the people who paid my school fees, you know, who <laughs> gave me the scholarship. When you get the scholarship, you should go back. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you said, no, I'm going to do this now. Yes. Okay. You know, and okay. I see the and and lots of things happen. Yeah. Lots of things yeah. happen. So then how did you find yourself back in Ghana? So you're now when we were now in the early sixties yeah. and you're you've studied now. Finally, finally, after doing so many things back in London, from the college back to London and then back again to so many places, even including uh, no, I went back to uh, CPL again, Color Prison Laboratory. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, so you, you finished school, then you did go back, finally. So you finished the studies. And I did you finally... a lot of things and went back there mm -hmm, again, mm -hmm. maybe uh, 67, mm -hmm. there about 67 or 68, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. because finally I left more or less on the last days of 69. Okay. And they were prepared to take me, you know, to 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 work, you know, this time as an employee, but mm -hmm. but a beginner. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then they said, oh, but you know, since you live in London, we have some colleagues, top rank, they are in London. You know, we can make you go and work there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And top rank were doing their competitors, more or less French by compared. They were doing the same thing. They had the same service that color printing for customers, for photographers, and so on. And top rank, they make films. Okay. You know, I don't know top rank organization. Okay. Uh, so, I went there. But before leaving, he said, "But if you don't like it, you can come back." Okay. As soon as that tag came there, I went there, I worked, you know, we worked peacefully and I learned a lot of things. Uh -huh. This is their price list. You know, oh, and I've, yes, ah, and I've yeah. got it still, you know. Uh -huh. These Commercial were what processing. we give, give out. These yeah. were what, what we give out. Okay. Mm -hmm. But then I came back again. Okay. So you left, you came back again. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Back to, to CPL. To CPL. Uh, okay. Color processing laboratory. Color processing laboratory. I came back there again. And it's while I was working there that I had a hint that the company representing Afa, their photographer was dead or something. They mm -hmm. lost the photographer. Mm -hmm. I had the link, I mean, hint from a reliable person where he said, apply to 
Germany or England or something okay. don't don't apply to Accra oh, okay. for the job. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I did, and so many things happened. And recommended by a CPL, Akfa took me. I had a, a training, some sort of attachment training to be familiar with their work and the products mm -hmm. in Germany and in Belgium. Mm -hmm. And that was, when you asked the question, that was what I was thinking of, plus a picture I took in Belgium mm -hmm. with a group that came to mind. Recently, it has been sent to me from my manager because that picture was in uh, the museum. Oh, okay. At gave it museum. Wow. You know, yes. Okay, okay. Because my, my exhibition was, was held yes. in, in Belgium. Yes, yes. Yes. So, you know, they saw this and wow, I've forgotten all about this. Uh -huh. Either my camera was used in taking the picture or something. Yeah. You know, so I should have a copy somewhere. But I remember, you know, before a, a group of salesmen mm -hmm. from various countries rep going to represent Akfa in their countries had a course. And we were being shown round. Mm -hmm. Before that, we had a picture mm -hmm. taken. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And when I kept quiet, I was thinking of where that picture is to show you just oh, now. Okay, okay. You know, I, I was thinking of where to... But Belgium today, I mean... It is possible I may go there. I don't know. It is possible I may go there. Okay. Because I understand it's a, a top fashion company, oh. you know, that uh, sponsored the exhibition. So there's money there. Sure. Uh, and there's some prestige as well. So mm -hmm. it's, it's Something. possible. Mm. Okay. Okay. All right. They recommended and they helped me to go to Ghana. Oh, I see. Yes, it I was see. from there. It's from there. If I was a top rank, I wouldn't have got it. Sure. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. If, you know, but yeah. because I was here and because the previous managing director with whom I worked mm -hmm. with Eva Young Studio and bought things, and then he was the one who gave me the hint that mm -hmm. Sik has see, yeah. lost their manager. Right. He was still interested in the, uh, even though he was doing a different. Sure. It was his company that sold me the blocks mm, to, to do this. Yes. Do so he was doing a different business altogether. Okay. Uh, okay. But he gave me a hint. Yeah. You know, that this is what's happening. But make sure you apply overseas. There, yeah. Knowing perhaps that if I applied in Ghana, I wouldn't have got it. Right. Exactly. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you've moved back working for a company. Yes, and, and I, the, the purpose for which I went was to introduce... In the product. I mean, no, not the purpose. I was to be the manager of the photographic session mm -hmm. of Sikh Hagma, uh, more or less representing Akfa as well. Yeah. You know, uh -huh. yeah. yeah. That was... But uh, what made me get it above everybody mm -hmm. was my knowledge of color. Right. Color was new, sure. even in Europe. People don't have the service in Africa, and so mm. they don't, mm. not many people buy color films mm -hmm. because unless they have their own foreign exchange mm. or relatives who pay for them, they won't. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. if they get the service mm. to develop and process them, many more people will will be do engaged. color yeah. <laughs> and then right. they will start to import sure sure that was how i got it okay okay you see so it was you know because of that i got the job uh, but i don't when i went to i didn't see that the managing director was all that p pleased <laughs> with, with me even that's why i took a picture the, the picture with the color bottles. Oh, okay, on the remember that one, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. as a test and to show that we have taken this thing here, the same laboratory grounds. We will develop it mm -hmm. and see whether we will get the colors. Got then it. you can see whether yeah, I can do it or not. Product, right, yes. right, right. That, that's why I do it. And I use that to, as when we are processing, always we'll have the same picture 
or occasionally go through the machines. And if the color changes, then you know there's, a yeah, there's something yeah, something wrong. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Either chemically, weather, right. or something. Materials, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh-huh. Test uh, image. Yeah, interesting. Yes. Yeah. So you're back in Ghana, you're, you're bringing yeah, color. Yeah, I started, you're bringing I started color. going, yes, I, I employed some. Uh-huh. It took me some time to convince them to order the thing. Even, I think, Akfa, if you don't establish this thing, then you lose the agency or something. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Because the firm was a Dutch firm. Yeah. A Dutch firm representing Afro Gavers. Mm-hmm. It was a German firm, but after the war, mm-hmm. uh, the Dutch bought it. Right. So it was a Dutchman, and I didn't know how to live with like if it were English, fine. Ah, you know, so living a whole new experience. here. Yeah. Uh, when you know this man who said, "Oh, do you know CQ Thompson? If so, you come and then we'll meet you all." When we are in the laboratory, and a visitor comes, uh, sometimes we queue with him to use the cooker. Mm. You know, that mm-hmm. that's what I mean. Mm. They have their own family house, big house. I've got, I'll show you some pictures. Mm-hmm. They have a family house. Everything is theirs. Mm-hmm. And he was the big man. But we did everything as if he was an employee. Mm. You know, and when you live with people like that, somebody pays your passage from here to go and you bath in the same bath. You you do everything with them, and then you come to England, and you come to your own country, and there's, they call it hagmer, sick hagmer. They have a separate toilet for the managers. black, bl- oh. yeah, black employees, and then the white managers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And when I came, I had to go use the black ones. Mm-hmm. I mean, I mean, and he was such a, a nice man, but a funny man that... I cut at the end of my contract. Yeah. I did sign a contract. Sure. So I, I worked through the contract. And I would say at the time that I was more useful. Mm-hmm. You know, I've known the company. I know the customers. Yeah. People have known me. And I could have been more useful. I left. Yeah, yeah. Well, and good for you. I mean, mm. that your own, that's your own activism in a sense. Of, and you know. and uh, because... When I was going, I was going as a manager to a place where I can get everything. So why do I buy things or take things with me? I didn't go to establish myself as a photographer. Mm -hmm. So I didn't have anything. Mm -hmm. Now you leave after three three years. What do you do? Mm -hmm. And where where do you... And that's where uh, this man gave me... Oh, gosh. <laughs> so where did you go? What 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 did you do? So you're now back in Ghana, and yeah. you're starting something new again. Yes, and I, I got somebody who graphic designer mm-hmm. who likes me to do photographs for his work. So I had to find some camera of some sort. <laughs> it it wasn't easy. That's when you said. I want to go back. I want mm. to go back. But then Tacha had made a law that all people from other countries, when you come and you leave, mm-hmm. you know, uh, after two years, you can't come back unless you show why you want to come back. Wow. You know, by a visa. And so for a long time, I couldn't come back. Wow. But I had other interests, you know, Cultural drumming, sure, dancing. Sure, 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 sure. That's another thing altogether. Yes, but. yes. So in all of this, in all of your movements, you you mentioned something about why you you left that company and left that that organization, and it speaks to a lot about mindset. So over the years, and as you've worked and, and grown as a professional, what would you say? And personally, what would you say have been some of your um, most useful mindset hacks? So these are things that you've used or tools you've used to kind of get your get yourself in a different zone, to be more productive, to be more calm, to be in a different state of mind. Everything I've done has had some effect mm-hmm. on me, and always. You know, when one door closes, another door opens. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, You know, mm -hmm. even when I got this Studio X-23, there was somebody coming to either me or somebody in the house. He said, oh, look, 
you know, the American embassy have missed their photographer and they, I think you'll be the best person to, he just passes and sees my work. Mm. So you'll be the best person to. I said, no, I don't want to work for anybody. Mm. You know, but he kept on saying, so he showed one day, I said, where is it? And he showed me and I went there. But when I went, you know, the dark room and the setup really caught me straight away. I mm. said, I'm a photographer. I'm not a salesman. I'm not this. Mm -hmm. I'm a mm -hmm. photographer. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know. They published a manier, a bi-weekly magazine. Okay, at the uh, embassy. At the, in Accra, mm -hmm. the American embassy, yes. Mm -hmm. So I was the official photographer for the embassy, the okay. whole embassy. Okay. But we are based at the information services. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, everything was there. I could do anything. And I looked at it. I, I couldn't say no. And I went and took the job. Yeah. And that was an experience. And that part of my exhibit, my work have not been exhibited. Oh, wow. Yes, because, you know, they, it's their copyright. Sure. Oh, and, I see. I you see. know, everything belongs to them. I see. Unless a few it's a copies of a manier or some photographs that I have, you know, but most everything that once they pay you, they yes, supply they everything. Yes. Yeah, yeah. You are not to use them as yours. You once I was permission. there, I did mention to the ambassador because we met once mm -hmm. or twice mm -hmm. that I would like to do an exhibition. And so it's something that can be arranged. Okay. When, when I go there, uh, we can see and then because I don't know whether they are digitized, but everything should be there. Yeah, yeah, from the time you were there. The one who was there and left before I went, mm -hmm. while I was there, the embassy wanted a picture that he took, mm. and they couldn't find it. They nearly brought him from America. They wow. near, you know, because that thing should be there. Sure. At that time, his girlfriend was working there, you know, and she was hot. <laughs> mm -hmm. They were coming I, for I think, I think they found it or what, what, how they they solved it, I don't know. They nearly brought him, you know. Wow. We shouldn't. Yeah. And, and so, you know, when that picture, is, you took it, it was used here, where is the negative? Yeah, yeah. They yeah. wanted to. Uh, which so, high security makes sense. Mm, mm -hmm. So, yes. Mm -hmm. So, I don't say anything I took there is it's mine. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But I have some prints mm -hmm. of some of them. Mm -hmm. uh, so, when I arrange that, you know, now this is where I am, this is who I am, I would like this part of my life. Sure. They may even take over the exhibition. Right. And, and you know, right, yes. Exactly. Otherwise, yeah. we go through all. I pick up what I want. They are digitized or printed mm -hmm. wherever I want. And then we do the exhibition co in cooperation with sure. them. Sure. It should be excellent. They will be yes, pleased too, that right. they helped this photographer to be what he is. Exactly. You see? Exactly. Yeah. And, and, and it will bring history too, you know. That as uh, well. Almost five years. Mm -hmm. It was about three weeks or so for me to get five years oh, wow. when I resigned. Uh -huh. But I didn't know that because if I had had five you years, I've got a pension of some oh, sort. Oh, wow. And so I missed, <laughs> <laughs> I missed uh, it. So speaking mm. of your pension, so you've mm. retired. And so it's been more... No, I, I, mean, I mean, I had the, my experience at the American Embassy. Sure. Is, yes. And then my experience with Rollins. When I was working ah, at Rawlings, the... Rollins, yeah. When I was working at the Embassy, mm -hmm. Rollins came on. Okay. You see? Uh -huh. And uh, I heard about it. He was staying with his wife not far from us. Yes, because she's... In yeah. So yeah. one day when I had a break, I walked and went to... See, mm -hmm. introduce myself mm -hmm. to him, mm -hmm. <laughs> and we became friends. So I used to go and see him. Okay. You see? Okay. So when he came back on again, yes, we met at police depot. Mm -hmm. This is my personal telephone number. Ring me. That sort of thing. But I didn't want to be involved in this. But we kept 
Sure. Uh-huh. Sure. So later, he managed that, you know, I came to work in the castle. I had my dark room. I had everything. Mm. If you wanted to see Rollins, mm-hmm. and it would be difficult for you, you say you are going to see Mr. Bando. When you come, I'll let you sit down and I'll talk yeah, to him. Bring, uh, uh, no, no, if he no, is sure. free, you can. Sure. That, that was yes, where you were. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. <laughs> wow, yeah. We, we've been through all this. Yes, yes. We've been through all this. You know, the, when I had the cultural dr- troop, uh-huh. the Amer- um, American embassy and the ambassador himself, he knew of the troop. That was, I was there when I got involved. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So we even played in the yard. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, and, and when I left December, Rollins was having a Christmas party for the diplomats. Okay. And it's done in the castle ground. And my group went to play. Oh, and okay. I was there like this. Yes. That's the ambassador. That's me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he saw how I was with Rollins. And I was asking, I would like to go. You no, know, I think I, I asked. I wanted a visa. I wanted something. I talked to the ambassador. He said, well, your friend, Rollins, is there. You, t- you talk, talk to, to him. him. Yes. <laughs> talk to him. You know, then I was there for almost almost five years the same. Oh, okay. But there I was sacked. Oh. That's the only place I'd been sacked. No, not the only place. Two, two places. The first place was in London. When the company I was working for wanted to do everything and send me back to Ghana. I sent my little boy to Ghana without telling them. The boy should be with me. They should decide, uh, you know, send hey. me to Ghana. Mm? They, so they were trying to control your personal No, life. no control as such. Uh-huh. Yeah, no, but we are in hard times and people are going. But we want to send you to Ghana. Mm. Then you send your boy to Ghana. They didn't want to interfere, but mm. you know, mm-hmm. it's, it's an excuse without telling. Which means you will leave us without us knowing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And they 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 sacked me. Mm. You know, oh, and that okay. time I had had an operation, oh. and the doctor said, you know, you should come to uh, physiotherapy, but you are going to work. We finished this thing not long ago. You should consider now that you've been sacked, come and heal your knee. Yeah. I, I'm still. <laughs> You're still feeling it now, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I've, I've, I've had a nice life. Yeah. So, American Embassy, Rawlings. Yes. The press officer or public relations or a woman, a white woman, was the one in charge of press. Mm-hmm. And me being the I wasn't a member of the PNDC. Mm. I was employed as a, a press. Okay, press. Uh, so I, I worked under her. Mm, mm-hmm. I think she found that I was too close for, to Rollins, oh. uh, uh, to her liking. You Politics. Know, uh, yeah. One day they wrote to me, you know, my services were not no more required. <laughs> <laughs> there was another white woman there. When she heard of it, she said, what? Who said that? Let's go and see, you know. That time she was introducing somebody from either the States, a very important person connected with the security or something. Huh. And she was introduced and I said, I've been sacked. What? <laughs> and I said, please, you leave it, I'll manage it. You, you leave it. And to sack me. Right. At my post. Right. It's folly. Yeah, it's folly. Yeah. yeah. That's a good word. You know, yeah. Huh. You know, even you you can even employ me as a messenger around mm-hmm. somewhere. Mm-hmm. You know. And all my ten years in Britain, all my photography, all my knowledge of people will will come in play somehow. Sure. Uh, but if you say you know, there was no reason given. Right, right, um, right, right. The, 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 you know, the, the blanket, yeah, your services. Yeah, because not, if, yeah. if, if you're too, you know, we don't need your services in the photographic department mm. or the information department, you know, so we are transferring you to a where perhaps you cannot get him. Mm. Or mm-hmm. if you get him, it's not, you know, under my mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. But no, 
No, no, and I didn't complain. You know, I didn't do anything. Mm -hmm. And that's when I, I went out to do what, what now. From there, I think we, we went to Italy with my group or something, but from there... You were more with the cultural group. Yeah, 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 yeah but mm -hmm. now is the time that I, I wanted to leave. Thanks for joining us for this part two conversation with James Banor. Please like, share, subscribe, leave us a review. It helps others find great content online. And join us next week for the final part of my conversation with James Banor. You can catch us each and every Tuesday with new episodes at globalcitizenspod.com or wherever you get your podcasts. Until next time, bye for now.